determine your destiny. Your destiny. And that's something that a lot of people have questions on. Sometimes people get readings or go to people yeah. they call, you know, mm -hmm. seers or psychics. Right. And they're able to tap into certain things exactly. in the future. But according to metaphysics and quantum physics, there's yeah. many different possible yeah. It, 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 yeah, it, it, it is. And that's why destiny can be changed. Okay. You can alter destiny. Right? But if you basically just let it um, play its course... Then therefore, that's what when 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 Seshet could actually write the destiny of when a person was going to actually die. Actually die. Mm -hmm. If you let it play its course, morning it's going to go. It's going to be true to form. It's going to go to that particular level. Not not not. It's not etched in stone that you can't alter that. But basically, if a person doesn't know, usually it goes to the T of what is actually encoded within the person's DNA. Mm -hmm. So if a person tells you something that's going to happen. And then right. you go ahead and make changes. Can can you actually you making those changes that is, cause it to happen? That or actually that can that is where you can alter things. See, we have free will to the point where as you can alter things if you have the knowledge. That's what knowledge is for. Mm -hmm. You can alter things and you can manipulate destiny and manipulate nature. That's what basically magic and science is. Mm -hmm. Is manipulation of the laws of the universe. Mm -hmm. And you can manipulate that, and that that's what makes us gods. In so many words, uh, like take for instance, Genghis Khan got this this soothsayer that came and come, come in because he he kind of felt his life slipping like something was wrong or whether he's gonna die or anything. And the guy said, he said, you have something that you you you're gonna expire from. He says, any way that I can um stop that, he said, yes, you have to um refrain from sex. So Genghis Khan said, look like I'm a dead man because you know <laughs> I ain't, you see what I'm saying. You know, which meant that um, uh, uh, if he knew the tantra way where he didn't have to ejaculate, right. then he could keep on with the sex. But not ejaculation and, and, and orgasm is two different things. Mm -hmm. So when he told he, him to re refrain from <laughs> sex, he knew that he had not um, conditioned his body to the point where as he could go and have orgasm instead of ejaculation. Mm -hmm. And as a result, the ejaculation, you see what I'm saying, uh, can, 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 can shorten your life. If, you, know, if, you know, can shorten your life based on um, giving away too much energy and life force. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how does one get to that level where they, you know, continue? Like you said, you, you brought in a lot of information, a lot of knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, for people that are trying to get to that level where they have that, their heart chakra is, 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 is canceling out their physical chakra, like how do they do that? Well... I believe that because for the mere fact you are even remotely interested in knowledge mm -hmm. means that you're already on that level. Otherwise you couldn't put a gun to somebody's head to get this knowledge. Mm -hmm. So what it is is you got two realms that's walking around here. You got a people that's awake and there's people that sleep. Majority of the people on the planet is sleep. Mm -hmm. The ones that are awake you could be. It depends on what level that you are, that, that 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 you are enlightened. What level that you that that you have awakened. So what happens here is, once you wake up, your soul actually starts to obtain this knowledge. You might think you're going in the bookstore to get it, but actually you're getting this stuff so your soul can nourish itself, and it nourishes itself through understanding the knowledge and the laws of the universe and the different aspects, the yin and the yang. The, 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 what you call the good and the evil, the light and the dark, because it's all one. So what's happening here is, um, I believe that ultimately the first level is, because you are awake, you are already at that level. Mm -hmm. And so what will happen here is, is two things. You can take a longer pace and be comfortable with the knowledge that you have, or you can accelerate it by just basically uh, have an exhausting effect to know. Because even you can even if you just say I'm just gonna deal with techniques. Some people get caught in techniques. They say well, I'm just gonna meditate. And we got monks. They got thousands of monks that meditate each day, but they just been at the same level. You see what I'm saying? They just they just been at the same level and stuff like that. Then you got some people that you know base. But you can bypass that based on what kind of knowledge you have. 